Likes on Instagram, processed food and porn. What do these three things have in common? Well, they affect our brain in one common way. And that is they are all sources of cheap dopamine. So basically they make us feel temporarily gratified without exerting much effort. Now the question is, why should you have to exert effort to feel better? I mean, what's wrong with things that make you feel good at minimal cost or effort? So our brain constantly seeks positive emotions and it'll often choose the path of least resistance to those positive emotions. This is primarily because our brain's dopaminergic circuits did not evolve to make us happy, but rather they evolved to make us survive long enough to pass on our genes. So cheap dopamine is a problem of an ancient brain not matching up to modern times. Now instead of deciding whether to get our next dopamine hit from say foraging or attracting a mate, we worry about whether we want to do our work or watch the next Netflix episode. You don't have to move an inch to get your next hit. Just grab your phone, scroll and voila! So if you don't see the problem already, let me state it for you succinctly. Things that provide cheap dopamine have high accessibility which causes us to overuse them, become addicted to them and that addiction then sucks the joy out of everything else that we do because it simply does not feel as good as the thing that provides the cheap dopamine. Additionally, cheap dopamine rarely ever provides lasting or meaningful positive emotions. I mean, think about eating a donut versus a hard-earned job promotion. I'm sure we've all found ourselves scrolling through Instagram at extremely inappropriate times. We could be at the dinner table with our closest family and friends and we would still find ourselves scrolling through our phones looking at the curated lives of random people. And you think social media doesn't realize this? Why do you think they're shifting all their content towards shorter and shorter formats? because shorter formats require less attention and less attention means that source of dopamine just got cheaper. The root of addiction is someone using drugs to escape negative mental states. By constantly giving in to our dopaminergic urges, we're essentially doing the same thing at a lesser degree but with far greater frequency. We use cheap dopamine to escape feelings like boredom or anxiety but in doing that, we increase the list of things that makes us feel bored or anxious. Think about that the next time you're at a party where you don't know many people and you find yourself constantly reaching for your phone. Rather than making the difficult decision of approaching someone and making a meaningful social connection, you take the easy option of distracting yourself. So my fellow addicts, the next time you find yourself scrolling through your phone or standing at the fridge simply because you're bored, ask yourself, why are you there? Are you just doing this to feel better? Maybe find something that requires a little bit more effort to make you feel better, say a jog or maybe make a healthy meal. Alternatively, why don't you switch up your drug? Maybe go for some oxytocin by hugging your family member or dog. Maybe some serotonin with a quick meditation session. That's completely your call but find a better way to make yourself feel better and a good rule of thumb is it's gonna require some effort.